Hey guys, it's Stephanie, and today I'm here with the highly requested how to cut your denim jeans into shorts. And it's really easy, and I've been doing it since I was probably in eighth grade, like six years ago. Um, so, like I said, it's really simple, and hopefully this helps you guys. Um, there's three ways that you can like have it look finished. So we're going to take my um, my guest jeans that I got and cut them into shorts and so I'm going to show you the three ways that you can do it and you're going to need to leave some allowance at the end for the fraying and also for how I'm going to show you. So the first way that you can end up having your jeans cut off is by cutting them and fraying them and then sewing the sides of them so that they stay up like in this cuff frayed look. And this is the one that I'm probably going to be doing with the guest one because not only is it frayed, but it also gives the bottom a look um, a little bit more clean edging than just having it frayed, which then leads me or takes me to this one, which is another idea you can do, which is just cutting them straight across, washing them, and then they'll fray like this on their own. Or you can go ahead and do these ones. And for these, you're not going to need to wash them before you sew them up. I would leave probably, depending on how much, um, how thick you want the, the bottom band to be, I would leave about one to two inches so that you could fold it. And then like they just did, these were already like this, you can sew them, just do little, um, looks like about two in the front and two on the sides to hold that in place so it stays. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you want to do is turn your um, denim jeans inside out and then put them on. Okay, so we have the jeans on inside out. And as you can see, these are older, these are more vintage. This isn't going to be like a flattering figure on me. So that's why we decided to cut these um, into shorts. Now, like I was saying about the um, allowances, depending on how much you want to fray or how much you want to hold up, you want to leave extra space for that. Um, so we're just going to take a marker and you want to do this while they're inside out so you can like write on them or draw on them. And just mark a line where you think you want them to be. Here are my knees and I don't know, I don't want them to be that short. Probably like... You think here is good, Melissa? Probably like here. And just go ahead and make a line. And then take them off and I'll show you how to cut them. Okay, so next you just want to take a ruler. I have one of these like um, measuring, measuring tapes. And you just want to um, draw the line straight across the shorts. So there we have our straight line. Um, and now to know where you're gonna put it on the other leg, you wanna measure it from the inseam. Like if you were going to measure the inseam. So right here at this line to here. So that's about five and a half inches. And so then you wanna go exactly five and a half inches on this leg. And that's the safest way just to be sure it's exactly the same instead of measuring it from like the top down. Okay, now we just want to go ahead and cut them. And I'm actually going to save the bottom of these um, jeans because I love the material so much. I'm probably going to make it into like a bandeau top and also into a headband because this material is just amazing. I love it. And thanks to whoever told me it was like a Victorian print because that's exactly what it is and that's what I was thinking of, but I just couldn't think of it at the moment and we have like sewing scissors somewhere but they can't be found as always whenever you need something just make sure I'm not cutting to the tablecloth your mom would kill me And here are your almost completed shorts. 
We're gonna go ahead and throw these in the wash and see how much they fray. Okay guys, so here is the finished product, well semi-finished. If this is how you want them to look frayed on the bottom, you can just leave it like this. That's totally fine. It's really in style. Just um, be like forewarned that it will fray more. So this is just the first washing. I'm expecting it to fray a little bit more after, like during the second and maybe even the third, but after that it will stop. Um, but I don't want to leave these like this. I just think it looks a little too unfinished for the print. So I'm going to go ahead and cuff it up, cuff it up like this and so wait, goes like this. If you don't like all the frays, you can cut off like the pieces that you don't want. So I'm going to go ahead and cuff the bottom parts up like this and just go ahead and hand sew um, a little stitch here and a few stitches on this side so that it stays like that and it's easier um, just for me in the long run because it'll always stay like that. So you just need to take your needle and thread, preferably a color that is kind of like it. I just took gray because you're not going to be able to see it. And just go ahead and sew these panels down so that they stay. Okay guys, so the shorts are complete. This is the finished product. Um, yeah, and they're really simple. Like I said, it's a really easy tutorial. Um, go ahead and make some of these for summer. And as always, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you um, probably on Monday.